Okay, testing, testing. Okay, uh, hopefully now got sound. Uh. Testing. I don't know what's wrong with this, man. Sometimes got sound and sometimes no sound. Uh. This microphone is a bit weird. Then I WhatsApp now, so no sound, but okay. Uh. So I'm feeling full of energy. Uh. I just eaten uh, spaghetti. I cooked my own uh, spaghetti just now. Uh, because the lunch, uh, my wife cooked very lousy. Uh, not nice, uh, I don't know why. I eat my wife's lunch, but then it's like, if you eat something bad, uh, so it's negative utility. So I cook my own spaghetti, uh, bolognese, I use some sausages, I put some cheese on top. Uh, then after that, you know, just simple spaghetti actually can fill up your stomach and make you happy. Really. You don't really need fancy stuff. Lah. Okay. It's just that sometimes, uh, if your wife don't really, really, really want to know about you, don't really care about you, she won't really cook the stuff that you like. But then, bo pain, it's like that one. Girls are like that one, very lousy. One. Girls are bad, okay. That's the moral story. Either way, this is SMP uh, analysis. The reason why I do this is, I don't know why, what's wrong, ah. Uh. I always kena the sometimes the audio missing and all that. You know what? I'm going to I think I'm going to use CapCut uh, to edit my videos beforehand after this. So the 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 consensus basically you're getting about the same candle as yesterday. I would say it's a, a bit bearish uh. Why why is it bearish uh? Well, it was green before. Right, it was a green bar before ah. Uh. This was a very nice green bar. Everybody was, oh, Jose, go, go, go. Especially Adam who, those type who always permanent bull. Then it came down. Okay. So according to MT Pulse, uh, uh, Tom Lee was actually expecting uh, this to go back up. But I, I told MT Pulse, actually, I'm not expecting it to go back up. I'm expecting it to keep coming down. Uh. So in the short term, uh, everybody can defer a lot. Uh has differing opinions. Uh. That's why it's very hard to predict uh, where it's going to go. Right. So there's only three options uh, where the market's going to go. Either it goes up, either it goes down, or it stays there. So today it stays there. Uh, they have to move. Right. Okay. So for me, same. I think uh, it's still going to come down to about 456 to about 452, around there. Uh. That's my take. I still think the market is going to come around this range and then before it bounces back up. Okay. Or even it might come down here also. So you notice, huh, uh, the rally that was there ever since December, suddenly it fizzles out. Okay. And suddenly the news has a reason to, to, to tell you. Hey. The reason is very simple. Right. Uh, funds are now expecting the inflation to remain high because the job numbers was quite good la, yesterday. I would say it's quite good. La. Okay. So we take a look at the five minutes bar. What happened uh, the whole day? La. Right. Uh, it started where? Uh, yesterday is fifth. Yeah, so it's about here. Ma. Don't include the after hours. Hey, never include the after hours. Where's the gap? Huh? No gap. Ah. Open 9.30, right? Yeah, open 9.30. It went up. Okay? Everybody, Jose. And then I think the news, uh, the, 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 the the jobs number came out. The thing came down uh, really badly. Okay? Because the jobs numbers was good. Right? Everybody freaked out, right? Everybody freaked out when they saw the job numbers was good. Okay? So the job numbers was amazing. La. That means if the jobs are good, job gains are good, inflation is not going to come down as fast. La. Right. Okay. So the 10-year tragedy did not have any problems punching through, actually not punching, breaking out la. the 4% level after the jobs data. So because the jobs number are good, everybody now expects that, hey, we don't think that, you know, 
Inflation is going to be tame and we don't think the Fed is going to cut the rates like 9 times or 8 times or 20 times. Okay. So what So what the fuck happened? Right. So now everybody realized, oh shit, we are not going to get the, the 8 times cut that we are wanted. We are not going to get a, 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 a 8 times cut or 7 times rate cut that we wanted. So everybody now, yeah, actually, I think at most five times really lah. I think oh, at most now four times really lah. So suddenly the expectations become tempered down, okay. And what's gonna happen? It's gonna keep coming down, no? right? It usually, it's like that because it's like it's like it's like taking those kind of drugs, you know, right? You take the drug, you get the high. Suddenly the high is gone. You slowly come down. Lah. It's the same thing. Lah. I think this is what's happening with this SPY, okay. Now there's some good news though. Okay, after the 1 p.m., the uh, ISM numbers was released lah. So ISM number released lah, it managed to push this thing up lah, a bit 469 lah. Okay, and it come back down, and then you know, this is where the ISM numbers because the ISM numbers is signaling uh the ISM services uh, uh ISM services uh, PMI chart is signaling a slowdown lah, slowdown but not super slow down la. oh you must understand uh, the difference uh. slow down but it's not super total slow down la. right why, why manufacturing so the us uh, you all must look at the services because a 75 percent of the economy is made up of services so if the services pmi is starting to go below 50 that means you know oh recession is going to come uh, most likely okay so you see that the recession actually came down la, significantly uh. From 52.7 to this one. So this one, I think it was any, this number was inaccurate, November one. So it came down to about 50 point something. So it's still growing. It's still good. But it's just not amazing enough. Lah. You know what I'm saying? Lah? Okay. But the trend is down. The trend is down. So that means there's a bit of a slowdown. That means uh, the growth is still there. It's still growing. Okay. But it's not that amazing as before lah. okay but it's still growing anything above 50 is still a good number okay so we don't think there is going to be a recession but there is going to be a slowdown in the growth okay that's what it means lah. right okay that's what it means so i think the numbers uh but the numbers has been quite erratic for this lah. because they keep they keep playing around with the numbers. Uh. You see, up, down, up, down, up, down. So I think because uh, they keep playing around with the numbers, uh, people, yeah, so what it goes on, uh, it can go back up again. Uh. Okay. Then you take a look at the money supply. You notice that it's a bit weird. Money supply actually trended upwards ever since May. Okay. So May onwards, uh, money supply actually trended upwards. Okay. I also don't know why. Don't ask me. Uh. I also don't know. I'm not, I'm not the Fed. Uh. So when there's supposed to be quantitative tightening, when money is supposed to be taken out of the market, the money is actually being poured back into the market, right? Which is weird, right? That means they are, what is this? This is stimulus. This is the uh, Fed emergency uh, lending to the bank, right? To prevent the bank failures, right? And yeah, this is, yeah, basically that's that. Lah. So they are printing money, lah, oh. And how are they printing money? They take the money from the treasuries, the short-term treasuries, one month, three months, six months, and then they they put they put the money into work, ah. right? This is what they call fiscal dominance. They spend money. Okay. So you remember lah, huh? Oh, uh, GDP is basically uh, expenditure plus uh, savings plus exports uh. okay eh hey, i forgot plus savings or plus government spending uh, plus government oh plus uh, investment uh, investment right the opposite of savings investment gdp is equals to uh, expenditure investment uh, Plus exports, plus government spending. Investment is the banks that actually split out the money. Uh, 
uh, government spending net government spending uh. yeah that's it i think that's it that's it okay you have to minus out the uh, the taxes also so if you keep printing money i guess uh, the gdp is going to look good uh, i think this time right that's why i think i think it's going to look nice at least better than where it was before uh, the gdp and i think the december fourth quarter gdp is going to look good because they are printing money you see so i i i i generally don't think uh, uh recession or no recession uh, i already said this uh, it depends on the government uh. okay that's why politics is very important where do you think they want to where do you think uh, the government is going to bring the numbers numbers are determined by fiscal dominance right the, what the government spends Numbers are determined by monetary policy. Do you really believe the monetary policy is neutral now? No. Right. So let me tell you something. Uh, the numbers are going to look nice. The numbers are going to look amazing. Right. In fact, it looks, it's going to look super amazing that people don't believe uh, later. I, I scared later people don't really believe. <laughs> because I think inflation is still going to be high. Uh, that's my take. Okay, inflation is still going to be high because they keep printing money, see? Okay. So, where do I go from here? I would buy any pullbacks. Lah. First, there is no recession. So, I think the growth in uh, companies' e earnings per share is going to be uh, still still going to be look amazing uh, this year, right? Because there's stimulus. There's stimulus and you are still, you know, you're, you're still, you're still, there's still a lot of money in the market. So, I think there's no recession in 2024 okay you can buy la i think can buy la can buy la i think it's still going to grow but you want to buy at maybe uh 443 or maybe uh 436 la, around there right so you want to buy in the middle or here okay we don't expect it to go down somewhere here la, this year because there's not going to be a recession la. the only way it goes down la, is that if the fed suddenly say that they're gonna raise rates again and because it's politically motivated, uh, because the Fed has political inclinations, we doubt that the Fed is going to do that. Okay, Although there's going to be inflation, we doubt that the Fed is going to raise interest rates to combat inflation until the election is done. Okay, So after the election is done, then they're going to start doing their job again. Right. So is it possible? Yeah, but not likely. Maybe later, okay, we want to see what happens. So there's going to be some backroom dealings with the Fed president, the next Fed president. And I don't know what is the next dealing going to be. Is it going to be, uh, hey, I want you to do things carefully. Or, hey, they printed money, uh, so I also want to print money. Uh. Don't be like that. Uh, okay, just say inflation already settled. You already settled the inflation, now you want to print money. Who knows, man? Nobody knows, okay? So you got to watch out uh, these elections. Uh. Uh, there are two or three things that I want to talk about later, the elections. If Democrats win, uh, uh, Democrats, uh, if Biden win, uh, he's a war president. He's going to push the thing for a fight all, all the way. So uh, oil prices and commodity prices are going to be high. So it's time to buy commodities. Uh. Right. Second, if Trump wins, uh, usually Trump, if win, uh, he's not a war president. Uh. So commodities and all the stuff is going to suck dick. Okay, don't buy commodities if if Trump win. Okay, uh, in fact, you must be careful lah. Uh, Trump win uh. He's gonna re because they are pro oil. They want low oil prices, so they're gonna keep telling the guys, we want you to produce more at more efficient prices. Push it up, right? Okay, that's what I think they're gonna do lah. Okay, so other than that, so what you wanna focus at now is actually the TNX lah, and the TNX hasn't been looking. It's basically now undecided lah. Okay, it almost breached the top here. If it does breach the top, then we are gonna look at a crash, you know, in the SPY. 
So it's a crash lah. It's possible it's going to go back to 4 point something. If it goes up, uh, wow, I think uh, 2%, 3% drop, uh, SPY. If this thing goes up. So we got lucky, it still stays below the, 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 the channel. <laughs> okay. It's, SPY is very fragile right now. When I look at the TNX, the 10 year yield, very, very fragile. Be careful. Okay. Don't listen to people who say that. The stock market can go up even if the interest rates go up. That's nonsense. Ah. No such thing. Ah. Right. Interest rate go up, ah, the stock market is going to come down. Right. So let's say this goes up to 4.5%. Ah. I guarantee you, ah, the SPY is going to have difficulty going up anymore. In fact, it's going to crash. Okay. So you want to listen to me or Adam, it's up to you. Because my words are already proven correct. As interest rates go up, S&P fall down. As interest rates come down, S&P go up. So the, the inverse relationship is already proven. Okay? But if you want to listen to Adam Koo, okay, there's this uh, platform that he has, uh, Ultimate Investors Playbook. Okay? This is the best place for you to, to, to if you want to listen to Adam Koo, there is a lot of stuff there. I don't think it's a bad pick. La. His picks are pretty decent and all that. So you can go subscribe to him, please. It's only $1,700 US a year. Only $142.50 a month. I don't think it's expensive. Okay, I think it's worth it for some of you. Go ahead. Okay. So you all should, la. You all should invest. La. You all should, should, should shoot that one on him. Okay. Not that I'm saying anything, uh, because why I say that? Because if you are already skewed to Adam Ku, uh, uh, no use. Uh, I, I talk to you no matter what. You will always choose the multi stocks. You will always choose the, the companies with no debt. You always want to choose those companies. Uh. I cannot say anything to you, any. You already cannot, 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 you already follow him. If you believe in what he say, go ahead. Okay. In fact, I do believe some of his picks are not bad, you know. I think some of the picks are not bad, you know. Okay, I do believe his picks. They are pretty decent. Right. Okay, so, yeah. What do I think? Uh? Uh, I think if the interest rates do go back up to 4.2 or 4.5, wouldn't be be a bad idea to just be invested in O and would you, wouldn't you just... You know, you want to buy something that's a less, uh, a more, li <coughs> more risk-free like the, the treasuries. I don't know. It's up to you, right? So, for example, yeah, AR I was planning to buy, then it went up. Every time I plan to buy something, it goes up. It just doesn't come down all the way. Uh. You know how pissed off am I not? I'm fucking pissed off. Uh. You know? Super pissed off. How the US economy avoided the recession in 2003? Okay, so uh, enough of that. Lah. What am I considering? I, I, I want to buy genuine parts company. I, I like this kind of uh, uh, companies that manufacture spare parts. Lah. Because spare parts, uh, I think no matter what, is always there. The cars always break down, right? So you need new spare parts. Okay. For example, my Toyota uh, Fortuner. I'm looking to buy the shock breakers because the shock breaker now are uh, like a bit when 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 I, I I I a lot of people sit in the car the the kena the hum uh, the speed bump uh, it was like you can feel it uh, <laughs> So I uh, maybe I buy a I I buy a new shock breaker uh, for my uh, Toyota. Yeah. GPC, I think this the price is not bad lah. It's not super cheap. It's not super expensive. It's so so. I would say, I want to wait lah a little bit, maybe a discount by two percent or three percent. I think it's cheap lah, this guy. Anyway, I I like I I like this stock a lot lah. This is one of my favorite pick. Okay, now uh, what's the other one? 
Crocs. Crocs is getting in a nice zone. I, I, I like Crocs a lot. I think 85 is a nice place to buy Crocs. I think 86 yesterday, there was a, this was a good time to buy Crocs. Uh. So this is actually one of, one of the times for you, I think for me to start uh, adding to my Crocs position. I like it. Uh. I like it a lot. Okay. Because there's nothing else that's cheap, you see. That's why. Okay, there's nothing else that's cheap. For me, la, at least. Mm. La, but then, I don't know. You all may have uh, other, other, other that one. La. If you like something with more mode, uh, go and buy Nike. La. Like Nike is uh, like, um, more of an Adam, Adam Cool stock, Adam Cool pick. Okay. Uh, I think Adam Cool also pick Hershey's. Uh, yeah. Hershey's also, you all want to buy, go ahead. La. Right. But, it's a P of 20, you know. Right, and why would, why the fuck do you want to buy a P of 20 when you can buy a Meta? Where the PE is 31 and it's still growing. La. I'd rather buy something 31 and still growing, I'd rather buy the Hershey's. La. But either way, la, is Hershey's cheap or not? Not really, because the earnings have been subpar. Right. The earnings haven't been very performing, uh, I think that's why the stock hasn't been able to perform that well. Oh, but it's still growing. La. It's still growing. La. Look at the operating income. It's still growing, right? Like, about 10, 10 15%. La. I think Hershey still can buy la, if you all like her. Chocolate companies, yeah, I think still can. Uh. It's not uh, really that low, but I, 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 I want something a bit lower. Uh. Maybe if it goes to mid-teens uh, or 18 uh, or 17, uh, I consider buying Hershey's. Uh. But now it's a bit too expensive, uh, I think. Right. I think it's a bit too expensive. Uh. So U.S. market, huh? I think the best thing to do is ignore all the, the noise huh? and just buy whatever you think. The price is cheap, you just buy. Otherwise, don't touch it. Huh? Don't, don't bother. Don't bother. It's a waste of time huh, if you try to touch it. If you don't think the thing is cheap now, then you try to follow those kind of uh, trading momentum style. I think it's not the way. Huh? I think just buy whatever is, you think is cheap and then you know, later, uh, after one year or two years, it realizes the value and you sell it, right? That has always been my formula. I think it's easier to make money that way. Okay. Sometimes I do time the market, la, but it's for fun, right? It's, it's not really what I do all the time. Okay. I don't really time the market all the time. La. So, yeah. For the US markets, I think I'm going to conclude it there. Uh, selectively look for opportunities. Uh. Crocs is yeah, Crocs is nice. I don't know. David also say BN is cheap. I, I, I don't think BN is that. I heard they bought the India side. Uh, and after I heard they buy India, uh, no, no, no. I don't want India. I think the relationship between India and Canada is not that good. Uh. So, yeah, they can gonna the roti prata technique by the government. I don't suggest, uh, I don't suggest you all buying uh, BN. Because they are moving into India. If you're not comfortable, but yeah. But BN is a conglomerate, you see. It doesn't only own one part. They own a lot of the, a lot of parts of the business. Some of parts. Uh. So, yeah, maybe if you take a look at the business one by one and then you add it up, also can, right? So Adam talks about China in the in the latest video. His latest video talk about China. I am not even going to entertain him. Why? Because he paper hand, right? He he chicken out. When you see people chickening out of a value stock and sell it at a very cheap price, what does that mean? That means they lost it, man. They lost the mojo with it. They lost the mojo. They are not they are not value investor anymore. Right, he paper hand it. Okay. I never paper hand. Uh. 
I may have looked like a paper hand, but I almost did. I was very pissed off. Okay? I admit, I was very angry. I was pissed off. But I did not paper hand. Okay? I did not paper hand. Usually, when you paper hand, uh, that means you lost it. You lost it. You, 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 you will never get it back again. I think Adam Koo will never get... He won't... I don't think he's going to make money in China. I don't think he can make it. And he lost faith anyway in the China. I And he's earning money in the US market. So I think it's better for him to actually buy the US market. Okay, that's what I believe like, at least uh, okay, for Adam. I'm not trying to uh, insult him or anything. That's it for today.